Looking at Hollywood starring Skippy Lowe. How do I look? Do I look trashy? Because we've got a girl who starred in the movie Trash, one of the last surviving Andy Warhol superstars. She's so big that she's written a great book, and it's called A Low Life in High Heels. And anyone who wants to tell you that they're a personal low life in high heels deserves my black gloves. So let's eavesdrop carefully on Hollywood Lawn with Skippy. Fifteen years old, I can't believe it. Fifteen years old, as a young boy living in Miami Beach. Miami, yeah, Miami Beach, yeah. Miami Beach, tough town. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is tough. Horrible. My moon was not over Miami. Well, this was in my, <laughs> well, the early, in the early what? Early 60s. Early 60s. Yeah. Went to New York, hitchhike, hitchhike. bus, uh -huh. well, hitchhike. Well, okay. It started as uh, a young boy, though, 15. 15 and a half. Going to New York years. City. Come on, Hollywood, let me tell me. Star. Well, actually, I hit. I, I took a bus, a Greyhound bus, to to Brunswick, Georgia, and uh, whoops, uh, yeah, it was tossed. Well, only eleven dollars. Right. I had so, uh, and it was tossed tossed off the bus in the middle of this thunderstorm, and I I was hit by lightning. Actually, a coke machine next to me was hit by lightning. <laughs> But I, I, you know, I mean, like I said, Florida was hideous. I went, right. away. I went to go to New York because uh, Cleopatra with Elizabeth Taylor was opening at the Rivoli Theater. Right. Um, ever since, I, uh, actually, it all started when I was 10 years old. I saw Lana Turner and the Prodigal. Right. And uh, I said, this is it. This is it. I, I, I'm, I'm a temple, temple person. I'm mm -hmm. a, you know, I have to, you know, mm -hmm. mm. go somewhere. I don't know. For some, I don't know why. And your I name was then what? Um, Arnold? Or? Ha no. What? Ar <laughs> what was Harold. 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 Your name was Harold. Little Harito. Harold. Yeah, you're Puerto Rican. Now you know why I changed it to Holly. Ah, <laughs> Puerto Rican. Mm -hmm. You're from Puerto Rico. I'm confused. Puerto Rico. Ah. I'm a little Puerto Rican. Yeah. So go ahead. Then you, what happened then, Harold? Um, so anyway, I saw these movies and I just, I, I know, I, I, it never dawned on me to like hitchhike to uh, Hollywood. Right. New York because of Cleopatra and Elizabeth right. Taylor. Right. Right. And so uh, I only had $11, and that's as far as the Greyhound bus would take me. And so from then on, um, I was with a friend. It was a mad queen with, with the eyebrows that went up here named right. Russell and, and long nails. And <laughs> I used to, I was, I was uh, <laughs> Russell Seaboard, I was obviously in awe of, of, of him and wanted to be like him. So anyway, after this, he was an older time, person, naturally. Uh, you were 15, he was older. He, 15, he, I was 15 and a half. He was. Fifteen and three quarters. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you're at the same age. <laughs> no, actually, I think he was about sixteen, seventeen. Okay. And uh, so uh, that night, oh, so anyway, we were this, this, we were in the middle of the thunderstorm, and uh, we were going to start hitchhiking. And the lightning hit this cup machine, and I was thrown like thirty feet, and this big, big uh, fat woman from this motel, that, right? You know came and uh, gave us a room for the night because she was scared that, you know, I don't know why. That Two boys, police. young boys, 15 years old. Yeah. Did they take Had no place to sleep. She was probably selling drugs in the back. Right. Anyway, so that night, um, uh, I shaved my legs and plucked my eyebrows. And I don't know that's how when it and all that's began. And it became from Harold to Holly. Yes. Oh! And then Lou is Reed that, wrote a song that, about it. <laughs> is that when it all began, that that's night? That's when it all began. <sighs> Yeah, you didn't I do it in Miami at all, and at that time you didn't. No, do I was too scared. I mean, you know, if you knew Miami then, you just. So you didn't do it. So you just that. shaved your legs and did the uh -huh. eyebrows and left that camp and went uh, to yeah. New York and stuck my thumb out. Tell me, <laughs> <laughs> tell me when you arrived in Manhattan. A when you full, got off a that full bus. blast, woman. <laughs> yeah, really? No, uh, no. <laughs> for, well, for the '60s, or, you know, I may as well have been. Did you Did you get off at Port Authority? Did you get off the bus there? Actually, no. Uh, uh, we uh, a trucker. A gave, trucker. Us, gave us our, a, left ride, our, our last ride. Oh, at one point we were picked up by four Marines, and Russell had a fabulous <laughs> time in a little motel with them. It's stupid that I was at that time. I was like, you know, very quiet. I'm, oh, at 15 uh, years well, old. So. Yeah, I thought, that, well, they were going to throw us off the side, and, Go ahead. You know, and okay. we'd be found in pieces. But Russell had a divine time with the boys. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so we, somehow or another, we ended up in New York City about a week later. Right. In, in one piece. Right. Uh, in Times Square, and I remember um, 
Do you know the park on Bryant Park? It's behind the uh, the library on oh, Fifth Avenue. Of course, of course. The little teeny park. That little park. Well, when I arrived, everybody I, goes to that little park on si on. It's on. Uh, it's actually on forty. It's on Forty Second Street. Exactly. It's on Forty Second uh -huh. between Six and American and it's Avenue and Third. Behind, right. right behind the, the, That's the right. big library. Well, That's I thought that was Central Park. Right. So I, I lived there for about. <laughs> <laughs> you stayed. I, I thought that was. That's how much I knew. Know. I love it. <laughs> well, I learned real quick. Yeah. I learned real quick, but. Um, so what happened? Then? Well, f I mean, New York City at that time. Well, I did what everybody does. You know. I know. Well, these poor little kids. You know, you have to. You know, the things they have to do. Did you get involved in drugs at that I age? I got involved in everything. Really? I, yeah. I had to sell my little chochita at 15 years. You sold everything. You really everything. did it all. I sold and everything. the dog. My jewelry, my diamonds, my furs. <laughs> how did you, when I how was, did you <laughs> meet Andy Warhol at that time? Andy, I'm, I'm, let's, let's get back. Yeah, well, God, I, I mean, that's why, that's what, the, you know, my book is about. I mean, I was lucky enough to, like, be living in New York during the height of those eras, the 60s, with right. the, you know, I mean, the Stonewall riots. I was, right. I was in the middle of that. You certainly were. And uh, Woodstock, and of course, during the, the underground, the Andy Warhol era with all the superstars. Right. And, um, Midnight Cowboy. Do you remember the movie Midnight Cowboy when do. they went cruising down 42nd Street looking for weren't they were looking for I was some one of those little hallways yeah, they were <laughs> looking for one of those people to come up to the party remember uh -huh. that party scene yeah I sure do that's that was just with, that's was the kind of life you lived that was it that was it am i right very much yeah hanging around 42nd street must when i first came here tough that street but then you know then i then i met candy darling jackie curtis and then they they introduced me to andy You're warhol and we used to jackie curtis did and, mm -hmm. and danny and yes. candy and right. uh we used to hang out in uh, a place called max's kansas city which was Down the home in and the I, village and, towards the village yeah right uh -huh. and right. uh that's where all the beautiful people all the why do they say beautiful people? Uh, because, uh, well, uh, because everybody was always on the cover of Vogue. Everyone was, everyone was a movie star. Everyone was a model. Everyone right. was famous. Everyone was rich. Everyone was beautiful. beautiful. Everyone was dripping in diamonds. Uh -huh. That's when you could walk the streets and, you know, right, and, right. and jewelry. Um, what was your first meeting with Andy? When, my, oh. Your first, very first meeting. <laughs> who, <laughs> who introduced you and how would that, that it all happen? He said Tell that me. face. I said that wig. Where'd you get it from? Is that what he <laughs> said? <laughs> you said that? Tibet? <laughs> <laughs> Did you really say well, that? You know, wig? Andy's <laughs> white hair was like... Uh -huh, uh huh. Actually, I met Andy at a screening of uh, Flesh that Candy right. and Jackie were, were in with Jojo Sandro. Right, right. And it was funny because I was like really nervous. I, some friends of mine took me right. because they said, "Oh, wait till uh, Andy meets you. You know, you'll be his next superstar." Right. And of course, I wanted to be one. And so I remember, you know, in like the sea of all these heads and stuff, and all these, you know, Chardonnay drinking people, and and uh, I remember Nico, this tall. Swedish, very right. you know, ice right, right. woman, standing there. So I was just in awe of all, all, all these wonderful, fabulous, you know, strange people. Right. And there, at the end, on top of all this, was this little tuft of white thing, uh -huh. just sort of like, like uh -huh. and 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 it was it was Warhol. It was Andy. He speaks soft, doesn't he? The first thing he said to me was, uh, "What's your name?" That's soft, softly, oh. uh, real softly. You. You look so, so glamorous. Oh. Mm. And what did you say? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody asked. Him. He said. He, he said. He said. What's your name? I said. Uh, Holly. He said. Oh well. Do you have a last name? I went. Um. No. But the next time you meet me, I will. <laughs> How did you get Hollywood? <laughs> well, How did you become well, Holly, Hollywood? Land? Okay. Holly came from um, first. Go ahead. Miami, FLA. No. Holly was from the Truman. How to go lightly. How to go lightly. Trim and Cody's Breakfast and Tiffany. Because oh, sure. Breakfast at Tiffany, of course. Because for a while there, we all thought we'd be right. discovered in front of the ah, Tiffany. So that's where Holly in the morning, came from. You know? Okay. And, and, and of course, I used to whistle for... Mm, huh. For cats. Cats, like right. 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 And then the woodlawn came from... Actually, it came from an episode of I Love Lucy. Right. Uh, the, the, one, the, the episode where she's got the, the, the urn on her head, the loving cup. Uh, it's stuck okay. on her head. No, I don't She's remember. Their head, I don't know. But anyway, well, at one point, she's sitting on the subway, and behind her, is, it, it's, uh, uh, it says Woodlawn. Oh, okay. And the last stop on the train is the Woodlawn Cemetery. Oh, right. right. In the Bronx. Right, oh. right, right. So this was right after I had met Andy. Right. And we were trying to figure out right. a last name for me. Uh -huh. And we've all sorts of things that were like uh, Holly Garbo, 
Uh -huh. You know, Holly, ev everything. But um, we saw this and we thought, aha, how fabulous. Holly, Woodlawn. Holly Woodlawn. That's great. That's great. And plus, the un another thing was that most of the, the um, Andy Warhol female movie stars were right. heiresses. Right. Uh, ultraviolet, uh, international velvet. You know, what kind of woman was ultraviolet? Very French, very, very. This is the one that was in trouble, wasn't she? Was the uh, one? Could you tell me who Ultraviolet is? Because I don't think maybe everyone knows that. I don't know. Oh, Ultraviolet is one of, one of okay. Andy's, uh, one of his uh, female superstars. It's people, very, very big female superstar. Mm -hmm. So anyway, they were all heiresses. So right. anyway, so back to the Woodlawn Cemetery. So I thought, oh, fabulous, Hollywood Woodlawn. This way, I'll be an heiress too. Right. At heiress to the Woodlawn Cemetery fortune. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> all that, all that marble and granite and and real estate <laughs> and who and who and who can contest it? That's right. Who Absolutely. can contest this? <laughs> that's very funny. So that's how Holly Woodlawn Woodlo was born. Yeah. So Andy Warhol put you in the film Trash first film. Uh, yeah, actually with um, Joe D'Alessandro. With Joe D'Alessandro, but Ooh. it was um, it was Paul Morrissey uh, oh. who at that point uh, because after uh, Warhol was was shot. Uh, the entire factory. You were around that at the time when he got shot? I came right after. After. Right after. Because before then, the factory itself right. was more like a, a party scene. It was lots of drugs right. and lots of parties and stuff. Did Andy take a lot of drugs? I don't think he took He any, took anything. Anything. I Am I right? I don't know. I don't Did think he drink Andy, at all? Uh, you didn't that white wine You'd, or whatever oh, but that's I mean, it oh no not not uh, you know it was you know and the thing the funny thing about it it was the people around war the, the, the satellites right. surrounded him they were the ones they that were protected fabulous. they protected him didn't Plus they? they were the one because andy himself was very quiet very very nothing that's yes, absolutely nothing you know, that's true Annie. the people around absolutely. him that were fabulous they and were the people. ones they, they were made the ones it happen. he surrounded he was like an yeah. observer huh? yeah Electric. they were the andy mm -hmm. warhols am i correct uh, exactly and uh, yeah, and the fact that uh, he attracted all these incredible people mm -hmm. right i mean besides the fact that he's also was a genius at that commercial why do you and think he got shot stuff? that time when that girl got upset why did she well, get those, upset oh well first of all i mean if you were um, she was really Without angry her, at him. She was, yeah. She, well, she was a very sick, crazed woman. She a was a real mental case. Yeah. Uh -huh. But the thing is, this is another thing that before, you know, uh, Andy, the people that he was hanging out with, that he let allow into his life, into, into that, right. were a lot of drugged out, crazy. I mean, really, uh, people that belonged in. In mental institutions. Away. Yes. Yeah. Why did he? Ha why did he let those kind of people into his life? And he did not let Madison Avenue people. He he was afraid of those people. Because, uh, really? Well, because he was afraid were, of those people. They were exciting, and Madison was boring. I mean, is it real? Really, is do you think so? <laughs> is yeah. it boring? He liked it, that excitement because it was he wasn't. All that. Yeah. I mean, because Andy wasn't that. exciting. He no, was that, not exciting. Nothing. I mean, he just he was a little. Peasant boy from Pittsburgh. That's right. Took a bus, went to, went to New, New York. York like That's I right. Did. Absolutely. Wow. Took the same bus, I, I went hit to New York. <laughs> same <laughs> as Madonna. Did. Madonna did the same thing. Uh -huh, got yeah. off the bus with a bag and got into New York and start making her thing. And that's what happened to Madonna. Sure. It's Woodlawn. I remember Andy Madonna Warhol. This is ahead. what happened. They don't come to Hollywood mm. to do that. It's hard. It's hard to come to Hollywood to do that. You go to New York yeah. to do that to be right. successful. Am because I think why? Well, first of all, in Hollywood you get. So lost. I mean, because uh, you have to be beautiful to be and strong or whatever, right. you know. And uh, um, I, because I'm, you know, because now that I'm living here, it's like a not. But New Are York. Are you living here now? Yeah, I've been here for three years now. Three. Oh. Do you like it? Book. Love it. What makes you love it and leaving New York? Because New York is well, a great city. Um, yeah, okay, it's the greatest city in the world. I know. I was just there. I was there. I was just there. What a couple of weeks ago, and I just couldn't wait to get back. But you know what? As far as I'm concerned, now, I, I did everything you there did was to do in New York. There is to me, uh, after after a week, you've done it. Yeah, you know, as I far see. as New York is concerned. I see. Yeah. Show and you go ahead. And everybody's here. I Everybody see. from New yeah, York. From New York you know, is here I mean, now. Now yes. that now that the airline, you know, now it's like right, you know. Right. Joe Delasandra. Let's talk about Joe Delasandra. Yeah. Trash. Yeah. What kind of he guy? He, cute, he's, a, he's a good guy. Yeah. How did he? Oh, yeah. How did Andy and him get close together? Because Joe's living here now. Right, yeah. He's, he's married. Acting, has Could a you tell child, us a little bit for some of us who don't know who Joe D'Alessandro is? Oh, exactly. Annie, of course, everybody knows Joe D'Alessandro. Let's not uh -huh. get into that. Of course it is. Joe <laughs> D'Alessandro. We'll read the book, <laughs> Annie. We'll show you. Show Joe D'Alessandro. Show the book. <laughs> okay, we'll show the book later. Everybody knows Joe D'Alessandro. As a matter of fact, he worked as a cab driver for a while. Uh, 
Uh -huh. He's had some tough times. Tell me about Joe D'Alessandro. How did he meet Andy? Do you know? No, I don't. I mean, he, that was before because before. After, when I came there, he had already done Flesh. He did Flesh. He did a he did a movie in, and uh, I think in uh, what up in the four, uh, uh, yeah, Cherry Grove. He did the film in Cherry Grove. Did you go mm. to Cherry Grove at Andy's place in Cherry Grove, up in the uh, Montauk in, in Long Island? Yeah, Long Island. Yeah, yeah, you did go up there. Mm -hmm. Once, once. Any parties up there? Crazy parties. Um, oh yeah, well a lot of crazy some, parties up there. Sure, I mean you know, I mean you go to Andy's and what? Uh, I meant orgies, Halston. orgies parties. I'm talking about oh, no, orgies. No, no, no. It, it was too. It was very civilized. But it was. Uh, yeah, I see. He was civilized then. Very, very. But he was also into this whole into commercialism. What? Well, the whole uh, going out with society and you know, all that. Is that what made you think? What did Andy Warhol with the Campbell soup? It's to me. I still can't believe it baffles me. It baffles you my too. Mind, but it's very easy to <laughs> baffle my mind. <laughs> not that is not I don't get it. I really yeah. never did. But then you know what? That's Who art. Who am I? What's exactly. Art, you know? Exactly. It's that's what they claim is art. You know, is I, art. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Lana Turner's toilet paper. You know, this will probably sell for you know baseball cards. What makes these things? You know, these worthless things worth something. Hollywood money? Lawn. Tell me, you wrote this book. This book called A Low Life in, in High, High Heels. Heels. <laughs> now, a low life, come on. Is that like living through a sewer and a glass bottom boat? Oh, darling, this one, yes. I mean, is it? Oh, it was Have pretty, you really pretty lived low. I mean, it's also, it was pretty high, too. I, you know, very I mean, low, very high. But, uh, what is the low point of your life? I know you left at 15. The lowest point you, I mean, you, you, know, you were selling your body at 15 in New York City, and you had no place to sleep on the streets, and, and this. And this Park, I mean, it must have been tough at age fifteen. Where was your family at that time? Back uh, in well, I had run away from home. I you ran away. I didn't keep in touch with them. It was just I was, you know. So I had, they had no idea. Going back, you sorry you ran away from home? Would you say? Would you? Would you? No, I'm no. Come on, think no, about it. Think, no, you're not. I do it, I, so you do it the same I, way? Yeah. I'm you're happy. You've I, I was lucky. I really didn't. You know, I, I'm very close to my my parents right now. Right. Very close. That's great. Uh, so I wasn't an abused child. I just, you know, I was. Just, you wanted to see life. Yeah. I was. You wanted I to just, get those heels on, get exactly, those legs out there, just, and just have a ball. I just knew there was something better out there. I'm still certain. Did you find <laughs> something better out there, uh, Hollywood Land? Uh uh, yeah, I mean, many times I have, you know. Oh, certainly better than Miami, except, well, now Miami Beach is really nice. You know? Nice. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. That little area This there. picture of this book. Beautiful It's Dietrich. Picture. Very, very Dietrich. Oh, Are you yeah. seeing this? The Look last time I, I was in San Francisco very doing a book signing, and this man looked at me and he said, oh, that's Marlena Dietrich. It does. And it's he thought I had written a book about her. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> of that picture. I said, no, no, that's me. I mean, <laughs> <It's you. laughs> I wrote the book. He said, oh, yes, I'm Dietrich. Uh -huh. And I said, no, 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 that's me. He said, oh, you look like her. Tell me about your miserable life. So you had some miserable times in your well, life. Well, you see, a good thing about I, I don't. I never did. I mean, because I, I the wonderful thing about living things and then, then having to write about them is because you always remember... I, I'm just I'm, I'm completely optimistic about everything. I you know I see it, you know it, it's a hysterical book by the way. What do you it's mean by hysterical? Hysterically what? funny. It's, it's a very it's funny, a funny book. Even, even my load, you know, I mean, there was a point. Uh, it, as a matter of fact, uh, in, it's in the book that uh, this guy was coming out of Max's Kansas City, uh, who later turned out to be a friend of mine, and I was like, cr I was like bombed. I was right. like crawling <laughs> up. What, right. Was it from the from the the gutter, I think, right. to the sidewalk, the little <laughs> thing. I was like, you know, trying to get up on the thing. Uh -huh. And he looked down and he said, well, what are you trying to do? I said, I'm trying to get over this wall. Uh -huh. And um, <laughs> to me, I think that says it all. So I, but, yeah. um, it's just you as a little boy. That's me. Uh, yeah, I want to show five this. Years old and Is it years really? Old. Look at that. Can I get the camera on this? Uh, can I get the camera on this? That was when Look you were Harold? That. Little Harry. This is it. Harry. Is it on me or not? <laughs> I don't see it on me, but that's okay. There we go. Yeah. See, that's you. Oh, and wow. who's this over here? Uh, oh, that's my that's my grandmother. That's me, and that's my uncle Virgilio. He's he's another and one. Who's that, the, who's that's who's responsible. Who's those two people? What's those three people there? Now show me. What's those people there? That's my aunt, my grandmother, and me. Oh, that's you as a little boy. Uh huh. Where was this? In Miami? No, uh, Puerto in Puerto Rico. Rico. In San Juan? Uh, no, um, Ponce. Ponce. And this is you as. That's me. That's As you. A Thirty-five-year-old person. Thirty-five years old. Trying to, oh, trying to, oh, to be butch. Is you're trying to be butch? Is <laughs> is Hollywood lawn butch? Do you feel butch? I pick myself up. Do you if feel I saw butch? It, saw that? Hollywood yeah, lawn. Yeah, very attractive. Do you feel butch? 
Uh, you should have seen me Sunday trying to... I, <laughs> <laughs> I, they gave me a driver's license in this town, so I got a car. And, uh, um, and you had And to my brick has been screeching, so my, my next-door neighbor, who also wrote the book with right. me, Jeffrey Copeland, so we took the tire off the, the car, right. and I washed the car again, yeah, and, and I changed the brakes. I put brake pads on great, the brake. Yourself? Talk about butch, baby. That's wow. good. I left the, <laughs> well, he did all the work, but I just acted. How about him. Divine? Divine and you oh. were very close. Oh, Tell yeah. me about Divine. Divine was Divine. She was he was really? Yeah, I liked Divine a lot. We, we, what makes we did you, makes you like Divine? Because uh, I can never get into his movies. I'm sorry. Oh, I can get into your movies, but no. I can get into his films. Uh, I saw. Go ahead. Well, the thing about Divine is that, see, I lived with Divine and I worked with Divine. You and lived with Underneath him? all that Divine yes. was a really uh, sad and, you know, very lonely person. He was. Yeah. Because Divine want, wanted to be skinny. I mean, Divine wanted He to wanted to be skinny? I see. Yeah. I see. And Andy, tell me about Andy. Uh, what's this? What's this? You're opening at the Rose Tattoo. Come on. This the 23rd. You're opening at the Rose Tattoo, the 23rd? Uh -huh. And you're, where is o'clock. that? in West Hollywood? Uh-huh. It's and now changed. It's it is now called the Rose Garden Performing Center. Rose Garden Performing. <laughs> <laughs> you do get that name. Foundation. Um, <laughs> <my honey. laughs> it's one of the West Hollywood uh, clubs here in town. Yeah. Tell me, what's your yeah. act? Michael Greer, Michael who is Greer. great. Oh, great. Cool. He wrote the whole act for you? Oh, no, we what? wrote it together. Together, okay. We wrote Go it ahead. together, and he directed... Uh, well, we just, well, Michael and I just finished doing this... Well, we did it several months ago. Uh, what? This thing called Elegies for... Uh, angels, punks, and, and, and raging queens. Really? Where was this and at? This was, uh, we did it at Club 22, but uh, it was at the... Uh, oh, I'd um, love to see that. Um, yeah, you did come I to see it. It was about the, the AIDS quilt. The, we that's all right. The, I did the come to see characters. it. Dennis of Christopher course, was of in course. It. Uh oh, Skippy. It, I walked <laughs> out because, I'll tell you, I did walk out. It was a very you know strange... Why? I walked out because, because it was very depressing. It was for the AIDS thing. It I was. remember. They were all sitting around on the stage and... They were yeah. about the quilt, you know, each oh, name. Right. We all it played was, different. It wasn't all depressing at all. Wasn't it? I no, thought, you well, I didn't stay. stay. I didn't stay. stay. Because I, I came stay. out and I sang. I played. Uh, uh, I went with uh, Gigi Gaston, and I left. Uh -huh. and I, and I oh, just, Gigi, yes. Gigi was yeah, there, and I, I left, and I just. I, I, I just, uh, we have enough of the AIDS thing. I know it's. But this was different because this was, it wasn't, that's the whole thing was, it wasn't depressing. It was, it was, I understand. It was a very. I understand, you know. I really, Hollywood Lawn, mm -hmm. it was very, very depressing. I've yeah. lost so many friends, and I'm sure you oh, have, too. Darling, I mean, but yeah. I just I just didn't want to sit it's through good. that particular evening. I, now, who is this? But you'll sit through who my show. Story? Yes, yes. Talk about depressing. That's somebody in a casket. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <talk about him. laughs> got, oh, Jackie Curtis. <laughs> Jackie Curtis, yeah. Your friend, I, I Jackie told the Curtis. Curtis. You want that? Oh, want that, please. That why did you? Oh, they put this picture of Jackie in there? Oh, mm -hmm. my Lord. And that's in the bathroom. And this is... Can we see? And this is... <laughs> this is her in the bathtub. I need a bathtub for the bathtub, oh, the bathtub wow. scene. I love it. Look at that. That's These great. These are great photos. Yeah. Yeah. Who published this? St. Martin's. St. Martin's. St. Martin's. Great. They do. They're, they're very good. They're very good. Yeah. And a matter of fact, we just, we just sold the paperback rights to uh, um, Harper. Harper Collins. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Tell me more about your nightclub act. What's, uh, so, what's well, it about? It's because uh, uh, I, I used to do cabaret in the seventies when it was at the height. Right. You know Sweeney's right. in New York. One of the best. Uh -huh. mm. Did you work that? You worked. No, but I know of it. Sure. Yeah, of course. Go ahead. And uh, so it's, it's uh, and I haven't done cabaret uh, performing in a long time because after that after that club closed, uh -huh. it died. Cabaret uh -huh. died, and then uh, I saw you on an Andy through. Warhol's thing. Uh, they did a whole thing on Andy Warhol. Uh, Superstar, the movie? Superstar. Yeah. Very good. You were excellent in that. Tell Thank me you. about that, uh, all his friends. Who's some of the people that he really liked See, and didn't like? Did you know? It's very hard because I wasn't really close to Andy, but, I, but Andy was in. Must have heard. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's funny. Just before he died, we, we, had, uh, thanks, we spent Thanksgiving together, and it was the first time that I had more than, a, you know, five words, to, you know, in a conversation but, with Andy. And it was really nice, but uh, Andy was very impressed by um, money. Uh, money. Cornelia Guest. <laughs> he loved Cornelia Guest. Uh -huh. He loved Society Girls. Loved... Why is that? Why did he? He loved money. Yes, he because loved to be surrounded. He was born, you know, poor. into very poor. I don't know what is Polish, Hungarian, uh -huh. whatever family. That was a wig but he had. That, that was a total wig he had. Oh yeah, it was. Was he bald at all? 
Or you think? Did you I ever see him without so. the wig? No. Did anyone no ever? One ever? Never? Never. No one has ever seen him without the wig? But I did. I, I, there, there was this. I, it was true. That he was doing a book signing, and uh, some, some girls some fan pulled off his, pulled his wig. Pulled his wig? Yeah. Well, it's like Jose never... Bear without the hat. Oh, oh! I think he sleeps with the hat. Uh-huh. You know, it's uh -huh. almost the same type of mm -hmm. a thing. It's, it's thing. A, an appendage. So Hollywood Long has had a good time. Fifteen yeah. years old. Come on. Coming from Miami, going to New York City, tough city. I oh, mean, you yeah. must have. But had I knew some the most incredible people in the world, especially during you know the Studio Fifty Four era. The Who were some of the great stands? people I mean, at Fifty Four? The they were great. They were great. Did you use Halston. the Fifty Four, Annie? Sure, everyone did. Liza. Oh, it was a great. Tell but me, yeah. Yeah. Liza. Yeah. 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 Liza used to just. Liza me. loved you. Secret. Yeah, I mean, it was. We all used to just every night. We lived at Studio Fifty Four. You know. Uh -huh. How about uh, the Kennedys? Do you see him around? That young boy? Willie? Yeah. No, not Willie. Oh. The other one. Oh, John. Uh, John. 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 Yes, John. John is not little anymore. No. Beautiful. <laughs> he is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Are you always in this attire uh, when I you go out? Well, when, when I go to the bathroom when I'm shopping at pavilions. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, not. <laughs> you're not. You're strictly in your other attire? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, this is too much, I, even though, I mean, even if it is Hollywood. Yeah, so you do do your thing the other yeah. way. So when you're performing on stage, are you without that and then put it on, or Oh, what? no, I mean, you do, I'm, I'm you always come Hollywood alone, yeah. And Wouldn't it be interesting to do a one... And your basic cabaret, very To do a one-woman or a one-man show as yourself, coming oh, on stage, and do it, and dressing up, as you as running around 15 years old. Go to Kaja Fall and see that. No, 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 that's Gypsy. We don't want that. That's, that's what, exactly. I don't and like I don't that. do that. And I don't do that. You don't? No. It's, what do you consider I, I, yourself I, more I have, like you know, Hollywood this is, this is who I am. This is what I am. And uh, first of all, if I'm prettier without all that stuff, so who wants to, who wants to pay? So you don't consider yourself a drag queen or any of that, do you? No, you I consider never yourself that name, as a, you know, I don't either. Because the word drag itself is so is so demeaning. Uh-huh. Yeah. But uh you consider yourself as a personality. But yeah, and an artist and an entertainer, a performer, um uh -huh. all of, you know, all, all anything that that has to do with creativity. Right. You know, what's some of the songs? What's some of the songs you were saying? You're saying some word? of the songs in the show you're doing now. Uh well, okay, it's 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 very it's a very strange show because it it, it you know, um uh God, when people ask me, what do you do? I, I sing. I, I used to name right, of course. Voice. And it's very, uh, lots of comedy, but it's different facets. I also, do, uh, there's lots of drama, uh -huh. lots, you know, and uh, of course, I bring in my Puerto Rican heritage into it. You do? Oh, yeah. yeah. I have this character. You know, <laughs> right. This teacher, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going. We're going. So you do a lot of Latin songs? Uh, not a lot of Latin. Just the, the, the little Latin segment. Kind of Miranda type of things, maybe? Oh, the mother of us all. But yes. actually, actually, the mother of me was, <laughs> yeah. was when I was going to, port, when I was going to uh, movies, movies when I was five years old. My, my favorite actresses were Libertad La Marque, Maria Felix, and Lola Flores, who, yeah. was, who was to me. Yeah. Spanish. And I grew up with Carmen Miranda. Demented, you yeah. know, uh, uh, Spanish with the, uh -huh. the castanets and the flamenco. Yes, yes, yes. So these these were the women before the Lana Turners and and all those pagan movies. Right, right. That I, you know, would go home at at the age of five mm -hmm. and em emulate. But then I had uh, I had a uh, an uncle mm -hmm. who was older. Uh, Virgilio, who we called uh, Loopy. Loopy. <laughs> who would Loopy. take me to the movies uh -huh. and I would sit there all day just. Mm. <laughs> when did you discover that you were different than any other boys? Four years old. Really? Three, four, yeah. Is that early, when you discovered? Early on. Oh, yeah. So it's actually, people say they, you know, it's. Your that it can be